And uh, first of all, how did you start to become a DJ? What motivated you to, to go into this um, boys-led industry? Right? Yeah, it's really boys. I, I, I know, like I think about a lot of DJs, even if you go out to the clubs, it's like mostly men. So how did you discover being a DJ, your talent, your gift? Yeah, I am always uh, was with love uh, for, music. for music, yeah, and it was, always was my passion. Music was always helping me yeah. from the childhood. Uh, and then I went first time to Ibiza. Oh, nice, Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, everybody goes to Ibiza and they come back with something, so I think you, you came back with something good. Yeah. How old were you? 29. 29. Yeah. When you went to Ibiza? No, I'm 29 now, yeah. but I was 23 or 24. When you went to Ibiza? Yeah. Cool. So what changed after then? Um, the first of all, because in Russia, we don't have that much um, uh, different type of the music, you know? We don't yeah. have this festival. Festivals, the... DDM. Yeah. House music. House music. I never heard in Russia house music, to be honest <sighs> with you. And when I heard first time the house and tech house music and all this type, when I heard f first time Black Coffee, this uh, he oh, just Black started. Oh, Black Coffee, yeah, he's really good. Yeah. He's really good. He just started this like Afro house music. And I was full in love and I back to my country and I went to the DJ school. You got, there is a DJ school? Yeah, we have DJ school in Russia. It's okay. not that much of them, but oh, okay. it's just okay. few. But I was, I was like, yeah, I want to do that. And I just finished the DJ school. So I thought, you're, so you started when you were 23? Yeah. And now you're 29, that was like six years ago. Yeah. How do you see your progress from six years ago and learning DJ from Ibiza to Russia and then to Dubai and playing in a lot of places? Um, Does it work like this for everybody? Uh, I don't know. For some people, it's much easier ways. Uh, it's not really easy. It's not really easy. It's not really for the woman, you know. It's more for the man. It's like why, man why, why, why is it not for the woman? <laughs> because if you see now, like, now it became more DJ, like female DJs, but mm -hmm. before it only, was only man. It was only man. Yeah. So did you struggle to find your place as a woman? Um, I'm not really struggling, but... Um, you know, it's like when you man DJ, it seems like much easier when you're female. Because the female, sometimes they look on uh, how you look, you know, how, how you... Female always have their way, no? Uh, not really. Not, really? not in this DJ world? Uh, not really. I don't, I don't think so, you know? You don't think so? <laughs> I think life is easier for women than men, so maybe in the DJ industry as well. No. Trust me, you don't need to cook, you don't need to clean. Uh, I'm talking about career-wise. It's the same. How is it? The same. Okay. It's not hard. It's not, I mean, like, it's not uh, more easy for the woman than for man. Okay, that's what I thought, but I'm happy to learn something else. From starting when you were 23 years old to now and to the places you are playing, you play in some popular places, which is really uh, a great thing. Would you say you're satisfied with the level of the progress? I am. I'm so proud of where I am now. It was a long way, uh, but the places where I am now is really good. Like, um, it, it's, it's, um, like, it's one of the famous places in Dubai. Right. And it's really, really good. Uh, the quality of people, uh, is uh, like the management, the, the, all is super, it's super good. Like, Where else have you played before? You uh, travel to countries to play? I was traveling from 24, 23 years old, and I've been in many countries. And I played like Thailand, Amsterdam, Ibiza. How would you rate the, the industry? It's, is you, we, is, are there a lot of people in this industry? Yes, now? After the COVID time, they became a lot of DJs. Like you can see now, like if you check how it was before, it was much less DJ. But on the COVID time, because people was locked in the house, and there's the, no ma much options to do, you know. And then people start to create the music or play or learn how to play. Because YouTube was, you can learn everything in YouTube basically. But um, yeah, I can tell that after the COVID time, for the last two years. If before was maybe like 
okay, 20% of the DJs, now it's like 40. 40. Yeah, it's crazy. So is there money in this industry? Um, yes, it's the money there. Not that big, but it depends on the level of the DJ, of course. What level are you now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, one to 10, what level are you now? Okay, one to 10. I would take one as a, for example... The lowest. As the lowest, like who play for free and we can take <laughs> the top. To play for millions. <laughs> the top is like Carlo Cox or Solomon. Uh, then I may be um, on the fourth. Fourth? Or fifth. That's still like a long way to go, yeah? Yeah, I have like more, more than a half way to go. So what? Well, uh, it's my, it's my, it's, uh, it's how I feel. Well, well, I can understand you being uh, very conservative, which is, which is good. I mean, sometimes you have to wait for people to, to bring you, to bring out the ratings, you know, for, which is uh, really good as well. So can a person get rich from being a DJ and just a DJ? Mm, that, that's a good question, to be honest. Um, you, have, you haven't thought about this? I know, because I'm doing only DJing. Like, I haven't done nothing yet. Like, uh, nothing others things. What on, are they? Uh, only DJing. Like, so many people have, like, I knew so many DJs, like, who doing, like, DJing and then trading and then, like, some and bitcoins. Uh, <laughs> and How can I you be know. a DJ and <laughs> do bitcoin? I don't know. Because uh, maybe on the, like... Maybe on the screen you see yeah, some yeah, bitcoin yeah, on like, the other screen. Yeah, like, DJing and, like, okay, okay, let's see what's happened then. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, some people have this uh, difference, uh, like, kind of business kind of work but for me I choose to be only DJ like I want to do only DJ maybe one day if my brain change um, I'm gonna do something else but maybe in the future I want to in the future when I get that level 10 or 10 yeah uh, I will open the school for DJing to, to to teach the kids or other people how to learn to be DJ oh okay so you, you mentioned that uh, it's hard for women why mm -hmm. is it hard for women than men? I did. Yeah. Oh, industry, in, industry is more for the man. Why? Fashion industry is not for the man. But there is more men there. No. Shit. But the money goes to the women. Why? How? Because more women are in, fa are in fashion. More women uh, buy more clothes. No, it's the, the women buy more clothes, but the who is on the top of this fashion? Most of the men. Uh, why? You want me? I can name I can name three women who are into fashion and they make really big money. No, I'm not. I'm not like um, I'm not like a feminist. You know. I'm I know. Not. I know. I get it. But I think that most of industry is much easier for the man than for women. I think so. I don't know. Um, but I would think if you're if you're a, if you're a girl if you're a girl DJ and you are good as a DJ and then you are beautiful than a guy DJ, equally good. Who do you think they will take? Um, it also depends. Now I can see the more parties, they do the mix, you know, they, they have a Maybe man. because a woman DJ brings more attention, brings more men to the, to the party. What do you think now? Is this um, possible? That is the, that is the big problem, because I think that doesn't matter the man or woman playing the music. If you love the music, you're coming for the music. Yeah, of course, many people come for the DJ, but the DJ give people music. If I go on the party, I don't care. I mean, like, I don't care who's going to play man or woman. I'm coming for the music and I want to enjoy Maybe people can look at the, the DJ and get satisfaction, too, you know? I don't know. I need to think about that. <laughs> so why are there more... So if you look at... Uh, the industry, you see Black Coffee, you see uh, David Guetta, all of these like really top, top men DJ. Why are there no women in this place, in this position? No, they, they have. They have? Like who? Uh, I think it's uh, Peggy Ku, it's Nina Kravitz, it's... Um, what is your star? Um, in my heart. In my heart. In your heart, okay. In my heart. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like um, happy music. It can be any gender. As like... long as it makes everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like super depressing music. I don't like when it's 
just just a drum and doesn't nothing. Uh, I like more happy with the vocals, you know, like uh, th this music that make you feel happy, you know, make mm -hmm. you dance. Mm -hmm. Not like when you come and you're like, boom, 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 you know, like it's not, it's not for me. So, what is uh, how long do you see yourself in this industry? Um, I wish forever. <laughs> I wish to stay. You can be 50 and be a DJ. Is that possible? I can be what? 50 years old and be a DJ. Yes. Is it possible? It's possible, but I don't think it's um, really good for the health, you know? You think your husband will like this? Oh, I don't think any man will like that. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine you have a DJ, the, the girlfriend, your girlfriend is DJ, and she's going all the time, uh, basically party, like you only maybe, party. Maybe, maybe you can have a um, couple DJ? Oh, you mean like... To, to me and someone else. Yeah, couple DJ. When you get married to a DJ, you go to parties and like, how is this lifestyle? You think about it? I don't think so. It's good to have um, in the same industry your partner. Partner. partner yeah. Why do you think so? Because okay, basically, I will get my partner to be a DJ together, uh -huh. and we're gonna party every like we, if we play. It's also party, you know, like it's our job. But you still all the time in this industry, you know, you're not sleeping at night, you're always traveling, you know, like it's really hard, I think. And if you want to build a family, it's probably kids. Right. But how, how you can make it be with the kids if you're both always traveling, you know? That's why I said it's hard to be a DJ when you're 50 years old. Yeah, it's, it's hard and it's not healthy. Can and you imagine if 50 years old, you partying till 10 in the morning? 10 a.m. in the morning? Yeah, some party have a uh, party, some places have party till 10 a.m. morning. In Ibiza. So how do you plan to fix this part? I'm still, I'm young, still I'm good. <laughs> 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 now I can survive, <laughs> now I can survive. What are the personal challenges that you face every day being a DJ? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, between me and myself, like, I'm always uh, trying to get the good music. I'm trying to check in how it's going to be, uh, if the people are going to like it or not. Uh, at the same time, it's also important how I look when I'm, when I'm playing. Because, uh, you know, like, when you're female DJ, the guys get more look at yourself. Oh, really? First, and then music. So I think sometimes it's happened, you know? Okay, yeah, well... I'm, I'm more for the music, but sometimes, it, even any DJs, when you come, you first, even when you meet someone, you know, you right, first right, look right, at the person, right. and then you start Just, to talk. How, how does your family find this? Are your family happy you are one of the best DJs in Dubai? My mom, she don't, doesn't understand this uh, <laughs> type of guy here. She doesn't understand this lifestyle, yeah? Yeah, she's like, oh, Katrin, you never sleep. You need to get married and have yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. As usual, every time. <laughs> you need to get married, have the kids. You're almost 30, the time is tick, tick, tick. tick, 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 tick and I'm like, yeah, yeah, mom, I know, but um, is there really things that I want to continue? I want to do it because I really love it. But um, to be honest with you, she doesn't understand this on the beginning. Mm -hmm. But when she came to Dubai, oh. <laughs> and when she came on my gig when I was playing, Ooh. she's like, yeah. That's what Dolphin did. She make a video and said, all on, on our family group. She's like, I'll catch you play it. And I'm like, yeah, mom, <laughs> yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's still, she still uh, I think, hoping that I'm going to finish this soon. That she thinks I mean, maybe it's uh, college, so you're going to finish soon, yes. Yeah, yeah, because she's like, yeah, the time, you know, family, kids. But I'm always telling her that, mom, one day I'm going to be famous. Mm -hmm. We're going to have everything, whatever we want. Yeah. And you're going to travel with me because I saw so many DJs that they bring their parents oh, nice. on the party. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to have the same. Oh, that's cool. My mom, she's more like... Mm, because I'm Russian and we, I, like, we, 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 I'm from 90s. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. And my parents you, more you, like... My mom, 1990s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're more like um, cons conservative. Conservative, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Family, um, structure, everything. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, exactly. And I think if one day she will become on my big gig and I want to see her happy.
you know, like you want your mama to, you want your mama to lose sleep at forty three what ten AM. <laughs> what motivates you to want to start and go and do your work? It can be hard sometimes, right? Uh oh, to be honest with you, I have few times. Um You didn't want to go. I have a few times when I was like, I was crying. I was call my mom and say like, I don't want to go. I start to GG. <laughs> and like, no, I'm not, I don't want to do it. And then um, I start to DJ. I start to DJ and um, I went to work in office. <laughs> cool. It's not freedom. You need to wake up at 8 in the morning. And then you walk until like 8 in the evening, right? Yes. But you know, because most of the DJs, like resident DJ in Dubai, they work in four days per week, five days per week, six days per week. Some people work in seven days per week, you know? And it's hard because when you're working every day, one day you're going to lose your passion. Not right. passion, but you just get tired and... You get born out. That's the problem. Yeah, so... I see a lot of DJs that make, uh, especially the men, they make DJ and they make music. Yes. It's not like they sing, but they just make really nice beats and then they can have somebody sing. And uh, you have uh, David Guetta and Avishi used to do that and stuff like this. Are you planning to do this? Producing. Yeah. I start already. You start producing already? Are we... Where is your song? <laughs> we, we actually released with my good friend. Amber, we released the, our track and the dynamic label. Oh. As a label from uh, Solomon. And he played our tracks, and some people also saw the DJs play our tracks. Um, I was super happy. I want to produce. Like, I think this is where you have the money, right? When, if people listening, that if I earn money from that, you know? Right. Like, for example, if I release the track, and if people listening and people playing and people enjoying, it's much important for me than uh, the money. It's uh, more important for you than the money. You think yeah. so? Yeah. You're yeah. going to pay your rent soon? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I need to pay, yeah. Yeah, I want to do DJing and same producing, that I can play my tracks and the other DJ can play my tracks, if they like, you know? Oh, that's good. Look, if it, this was not good, there's yeah. not that much DJs in Dubai, you know? <laughs> it's like... But then the, the, the problem becomes when you have too much people in the industry already, something starts to happen. Like, because if everybody comes and then there is too much supply of DJs, then the demand will collapse, right? How do you keep yourself above everybody else that is sticking this? Uh, the style, you need to have your style, you need to play good, you need to every time um, learning something new. Because you know, like, this is industry is always like a waves. Right. One day you up, one day you down. One day you have work, one day you don't. Because maybe other, other day some, someone better has come. But I think you need to go your way. You need to grow up all the time. So where is the hat? In Ibiza? Um, when when do you know you are you are up already? You are ten already. Ibiza or when I don't you think, play in Ibiza or uh, Amsterdam. For me, I don't think I'm gonna be uh, like for my, I don't think I'm gonna be on the ten. You know, because you always have to wait to grow. Maybe it's not gonna be enough for me. It's never enough for me. You know, right. like I mean, like I want to do more and more and more all the time. Like maybe. Yeah, Ibiza is obviously it's a um, amazing place. It's uh, it's a dream to play there. It's a dream to play uh, on the Mykonos. It's a dream to play in the Tulum. It's a dream to play. I think the big big level is like when you start to play on the big festivals, you know, with the the the, the best DJs, you know. Like for me, if I'm gonna play back to back with Solomon or Blackoff or some of them, That's I'm huge. gonna be I'm gonna be Kai. I'm gonna Do you think? AI will affect your job in the future? AI, artificial intelligence? Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we have a joke about that. Oh, we have okay. a <laughs> about that. But yeah, one day you're gonna come on your gig and in front of you gonna stay there this, uh, yeah. In, yeah, 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 and playing the music for you. Playing the music for you. Do you think this is going to be a thing in the future? Have you thought about this? I think, I think you know, like, um, I hope it's not like it never happened. 
because it's really crazy things, you know. What if, what is it? Okay, I know. Yes, I hope it crazy. never happens. But what if, what if it happens? Um, the these robots, the basically these robots, they never can play in the same way as a human being. Never. They don't have that feelings as we have. Uh, they don't have, because you know, like sometimes when you're DJing, in your mind, the one track, you're like, yeah, I'm going to play this track. And then in a second, you change, you see the vibe of the people, you're like, no, I'm going to change, I'm going to play something. He's like, not the intuition, he's like some other feelings that the robot can never have it. You know, like it's impossible. Maybe they make it one day, I don't know, it's like, I don't know. But uh, I think, I I think if they make this, your mom will be very happy, yes? <laughs> No, then my mom not gonna have a new car. Oh. Please. 